Hello, beautiful souls. Because this Ten of Swords led directly into this Ten of Cups, and I would consider these cards almost the two most opposite cards in the traditional tarot. That Ten of Swords represents this ending feeling defeated, feeling at a dead end, whereas Ten of Cups represents this happy ever after kind of energy. I'm hearing romantic. So you may be someone who's always really been a romantic in love, and I feel that some of those childhood fantasies or daydreams are actually about to come true, which I know sounds really strange, but it feels like there's something very fairy tale esque on the way for you in love. I'm seeing that very strongly from this Ten of Cups energy. What else is happening here with the Ten of Cups? Yeah, there's a light at the end of the tunnel here, especially for those of you who have been feeling a lot of heavy energy, particularly in love. The word confusion is coming out. So for many Geminis that I'm speaking to here, it feels as though specifically in love, for some reason, you've been feeling a bit muddy or a bit confused about something. The strange thing is that, in spite of this feeling of confusion, it feels like something really positive romantically speaking is right around the corner for you. Let me see if I can channel any other information. It may be that someone romantically is actually going to be bringing you some kind of communication or information that will clarify something for you, clear something up in some type of way. I'm getting that very strongly here. What else is going on here romantically for Gemini? Yeah, Knight of Wands energy, particularly if you are a feminine energy listening. Now, of course, these labels masculine and feminine could apply to someone who is traditionally male or female. These are just ways of describing energy. But it feels like there is this Knight of Wands coming towards you, a very fast-moving, potentially masculine energy. It's interesting because at the bottom of the deck, we have the lovers in the reverse position. So, there may have been a lack of accountability from this particular person in the past that led to some kind of disconnection or detachment, and they could be coming in very quickly to clear up some of the confusion that you've been experiencing. Now, for others of you, if this doesn't resonate as being someone from the past, this actually could be someone entirely new who enters your life very quickly and actually it's almost like they bring an end to this time of feeling lonely or feeling confused or isolated in love. If that makes sense, like there's just some kind of light at the end of the tunnel sort of experience coming up here. And what this all is requiring of you is surrender with the Five of Swords. I see that there might be something that you've been holding on to really tight or worried about or trying to control and that energy of worry or control might actually be energetically blocking the situation from being able to fully transform in a positive way, from bringing in this very fast-moving new energy that could move this situation forward very quickly. From Divine Muscular Type yes, if you believe.